Okay, y'all. So, I've got the Craft Your Stash coming up. And I figured it might be a good idea to kind of show my stash. So, this is supposed to be my crafting area. I inherited a bunch of free stuff that I'm trying to get organized. I didn't have room in my other shed where all my other stash is. So I had to put it in here for now until I get stuff organized. So as you can see, I've got stuff everywhere. Here is just one bin of like my wood pieces, signs, you know, and stuff like that. Um, miscellaneous spring stuff, um, flowers and whatnot. I've got baskets galore now, thanks to um, our friend Joy. So, this is where the majority of it ended up. Let me turn the light on. And as you can see, I've got, I mean, this whole space is full of stuff. I'm kind of working on trying to do my florals this way for now. Um, but yeah, so this is a little cabin thing. Um, that has loft space and as you can see up there I've got room up there so a lot of the baskets I think I'm gonna put up there it's gonna be fun for me to get them when I need them but yeah so this is only part of it only part of it so I'll be crafting my stash for a very long time Hey y'all, thanks for stopping in. As you can see, we're working with a Craft Your Stash collaboration. So, we've got a playlist. Sunflower Tasha DIYs is our host. Bella's Bargains is our co-host. I will leave their description, uh, or their links in the description box along with the link to the playlist so that you can watch all the lovely creators that um, are a part of this playlist. We've got a talented bunch. Um, and all of them are just, I enjoy watching all of them, um, with their, when they're creating and getting a different take on things. And I'm really excited to see what everybody's stash looks like. Now at the beginning of the video, you saw just a small portion of my stash. That was my most recent haul of that free, um, the free craft supplies that I got. I still have a bunch more to go get, but I gotta get those organized first. That is on the list for Sunday, hopefully. Um, my roofer's coming back over Sunday to fix the inside of my roof, so I don't know. We'll see. I've got help coming. My daughter-in-law is coming to help me with the, the mess over there um, and getting all of that stash organized. So. We're on uh, DIY number one, and I took that um, plaque, took the paper off. I painted the back of it white, and I painted around the edges white first, um, and then took this light yellow and went around the, the outside edge. I left the back of it white because I want to be able to go back and do something else on that side to make this a double-sided. Uh, project. Um, haven't gotten to that yet. Then I took and on the, as you can see around the edge and on the inside, I used lilac mist and painted along in there. And here I am working with these beautiful lemon and lavender um, rub on transfers. And um, I fell in love with these. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with them. I love them. They are very super sticky. I will give you that warning. They are very super sticky when it comes to trying to peel the um, the clear 
transfer sheet up. But that means they're going to stay on your project really well, right? Anyway, um, some of my other videos, I used some of these in because um, I was trying to make a, I've been working on making a set, a matching set for a tiered tray. So um, I will post pictures of the whole set in um, my community thing on YouTube so that you can see the whole set together. I just did not have time. I am running so late. I am just now doing the voiceover and my video should have been up an hour ago. But I had roofers here and they were working on the roof and it's kind of hard to do a voiceover when they're clunking around and hammering and making all kinds of noise, right? So, anywho, I took um, some of these uh, cute transfers, put it on the um, this brown and that yellow color I took the apple barrel bright yellow and some of the Waverly um, white and mixed it together to, to tone it down where I had more of a pale yellow in there um, I don't know I think maybe I'm obsessed with these also because these are kind of our my brand colors I've got like the the purple lavender light yellow light green um, those are all my brand colors so I mean you can't tell what my favorite color is can you purple of course anyhow <clears throat> I've been watching too much Kathy Joe videos I think because now I'm saying anyhow instead of anyways but yeah she uh I get a kick out of her. She catches herself after she says it. And she's like, I know, I know, not anyhow, or any, yeah, anyways. So, um, I had a little bit of a issue with this one. Um, the, the M's kind of bubbled a little bit when I put it on there. I had to get in with my tweezers and just kind of shift it around a little bit and smooth it out no big deal got it got it done looks fine um i don't know what happened there i don't know if maybe i had a wrinkle in it when i laid it down and didn't catch it i don't know but anyway i got it done here we go again thanks kathy joe appreciate it you're addictive <laughs> so i took two of these um tumbling tower blocks and I'm using a mixture of wood glue and a little bit of hot glue and placing them down in there to set that round on so that it, it's got a little bit of dimension to it, not just laying flat in there. And I got, you know, this far is, and, and you know, place the, the round in there and everything and I'm like, this is still too plain. What the heck else am I going to do? I don't know what I'm going to do. So it took me a minute, but I did, I, I remembered that I had recently, and I know it wasn't in my stash stash, but I, it was in my stash. I didn't go out and buy it for this project, but it was a recent purchase for the ribbon that I put around there. Um, yeah, that ribbon there, I just thought that was really cute. So. That's a newer stash item. It technically was in my stash. I didn't buy it for this project. I've had it for a couple weeks. <laughs> we won't tell anybody, right? So I just took and, and trimmed that out with the with this ribbon here. And you can kind of see, I, I did, when I did this, these projects, I batch created so you're gonna see a little bit here and there of pieces of the other project in various states of um process there it just the batch creating when i'm creating is easier because i can if i'm painting the purple i can paint everything that i'm going to paint purple purple you know so on and so forth but when it comes to editing 
it's a pain in the butt because I forgot to turn the camera off in between each thing. So I ended up having to crop it and move it and all that good stuff and figure out which order it all goes in. Joy, joy, right? It's okay. We got it though. Just not necessarily the way I wanted to have to edit when I ended up running late. Since I work a full-time job during the week, um, so these weekday playlists sometimes can be a challenge and when I planned out my week and my crafting and, and all of that, because <clears throat> I work a half day on Friday sometimes, I didn't realize that my roofers were going to be available to come do my roof today. But, you know, it's more important not to have it raining in my bedroom than it is to be 100% on time posting the video. Um, you know, it's no fun when you're laying in bed and it rains on you, right? You have a roof for a reason. You don't want to get wet when you're in the house. But they did get it pretty much finished up. Um, they're waiting on new metal for it. But it is good to go at the moment. They put the old metal back on there until they get the, the new metal to put on. So, there's that. Hopefully, I'll have better timing for when they come over to finish that job and not have to worry about whether I need to do a voiceover or not. So here I took four of these little half beads and I painted those with that apple barrel bright yellow just to, to have something with just a little more bright pop of color on there um, and then I put it on the four corners of my little black sign whatever you want to call it um, so a good trick is to put a piece of tape down like this and put them on the tape so you're not chasing them around I just took in each corner set a pop of those on there or set one on each corner with some hot glue and it also kind of those also kind of cover up where I overlap with the, the little ribbon there and I was like mm, it's still missing something it needs a bow so I just did a little shoestring bow and placed it on there and that finished it off So I appreciate all of you stopping by to watch this video. Um, all of my current subscribers, thank you so much for your continued support. All of uh, all of you new, um, all of you that are coming over from the playlist or are watching my videos for the first time, I encourage you to um, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you get notified when I upload new content. And, um, yeah, and if you would like and comment, that would be awesome too. And now we're on to DIY number two. Got this cute little, um, truck here that I got, uh, I've had in my stash for a couple years now, actually. I, we had, we had bought quite a few of them and I've used several of them, but I still had two or three left over, surprisingly, because I'm all about the truck. My dad used to restore old trucks, so um, I do a lot with, uh, you know, a lot of DIYs that have like the old trucks in them some way, shape, or form. Kind of a nod to my dad now that he's no longer with us. So I took that 
mixture of the bright yellow and the um, Waverly white and painted almost all of the truck. I did the, the fender wells in a different color. But, uh, you know, you can see I'm just kind of going over and getting that. I had taken, uh, before I started painting, I had taken um, a pencil and kind of outlined where the wheel was and finished the outline of the fender well because um, it's got like a cut there but I, I drew a line down to you know just kind of define it better because um, if I'm left to paint without lines to follow there's no telling what you'll come up with or what you know what I'll come up with it could end up a hot mess so <laughs> and I guess I'm a little bit out of frame here sorry guys but as you can see, you know, the plaque there that I just finished in the previous one, you can see the where I had painted it white before I went through and painted the other colors on there. So, <clears throat> I might, I might take with that plaque and do another on the back side of it, because there's a couple of the, in those rub on transfers. There's a couple of trucks with lemons and lavender in the back. I might do that. That might be what I do on the other side of that. We'll see. I'll sleep on it. Anyway, I took and made sure that I got around the, the edges with the paint. And I also made sure to get down inside with, um, on the insides with the paint so that when it's standing because you can see if you're looking from one side you can see the the back side of the other if that makes any sense I may not be making sense so um, yeah see now I'm painting on the, the inside there I did not realize that I left all of this in here in fact come to think of it I may have skipped over when I was editing the footage. I may have missed this part of it. Fun, fun. All right, guys. So this part of the video is going to be a surprise, surprise. Uh, <laughs> there may be stuff left in there that I didn't intend to leave in there because somehow or another I skipped over it. Because like I said, I was having to... Um, crop it and move this here and there and and I had it all kinds of messed up so I think I uh I think I didn't even go through and edit this part of it so I apologize for the the long painting of this truck feel free to bump it forward a little if you like Good Lord. All right. Well, it is what it is. So I used, um, what did I do there? Oh, I'm pretty sure I used the lavender mist or the lilac mist, um, on here, not the lavender sachet pretty sure it's the the lilac mist by apple barrel on the fender wells I don't know I've been a hot mess this week so between trying to coordinate with the roofing and and all of that and then I had to run in today a wasted trip to go get my notary uh, renewed and uh, didn't have the right paperwork um the attorney that i worked for didn't send me everything because her husband didn't grab it from the brentwood office <laughs> didn't grab an, the right things from the brentwood office so it's been a fun week what can i say oh 
seriously. I'm so sorry, y'all. I totally missed this part of it. I would have cut this down. But now that I'm in the middle of the voiceovers and all that good stuff, it's a pain in the butt to cut it out. But I'm looking at the footage and it looks like I'm almost done with the painting. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, okay, so here, and, and I, I did edit this. I remember editing this. I only showed Jimmy painting one wheel. So, hopefully, we're done with the constant painting. Um, I just took and, and painted the wheel with, um, I think it's just the black from Dollar Tree. Each of, I painted each of the wheels with that. And then the, the little bumpers there, uh, I took, what did I, I think I used, I don't know, I had, some, I used a gray, um, a silver um, paint, glittery paint for the, the bumper parts there, you can see. <clears throat> and then here I'm just cutting out my um, rub-ons that I'm putting on the doors on each of the doors of the truck. There we go. Got one side that has more lemons with a little bit of lavender and then the other side has more lavender with some lemons. Kind of balance it out from each side. That way if you know it's going to be on a tiered tray, so you'll probably see both sides of it. And there's the, the one that has a little more lavender in it. I don't know, I'm just, I'm obsessed with these Revon transfers. Y'all might end up being tired of watching me work with these transfers. I don't know. Maybe my next video I'll lay off the lavender and lemon theme now that I've got my tiered tray set done. Who knows? We'll see. And then I just cut out a little, um, the, I think that one's the lat, yeah, it says lavender and then cut out another one that says lemons and put it on the other side. And see, I was trying to keep this video 30 minutes or less. And had I realized before I started the voiceover that I had left a bunch of painting in, I could have I could have actually reached that goal. Oh. So there I've got that. And then I went and cut a piece of a thin slice of the floral foam and somehow I lost the footage of me putting the moss on there and the lavender in there. I don't know where it went. It just poof somewhere. Who knows? Um, so these little things I'm putting in there now, I had taken some air dry clay and had made some little lemon shapes and put them on these skewers so that I could um, put them in the, the truck. I did, I made those in a previous video um, and had three of them left over. So, I, well, I intended to have three of them left over because I knew I was gonna do this truck and put them in there too. But it was, uh, really easy just to take in and make the little lemons and then I stuck the skewers in there um, with a dab of hot glue so that the lemons didn't fall off. And here, because I did use a very thin um, piece of floral foam, a lot of those are sticking through on the bottom so I'm just reinforcing them with some hot glue from the underside to make sure that none of it falls out. And now we're on to DIY number three. We're almost, almost at the end. 
See, like I said, various stages of uh, completion on these projects. So I'm taking that same um, light yellow and painting this side of um, the house with the yellow. And then I took, I believe I used lavender sachet on the back side. And then I used the, or no, yeah. And then I used the lilac mist on the edges. I think that's what I did. And it's really hard in this video, at least, it's really hard to see the difference between the lavender sachet and the lilac mist. The lilac mist is just a little bit darker and you can see that difference in the, if you hold the bottles together, but on this, it didn't seem to, I don't know, it didn't show, it didn't seem to make a difference. So now here I'm cutting out um, the transfer I'm using on it. And it's um, of like an old, uh, you know, a door with surrounded by lavender and lemons and stuff. Thought that was really cute. It's got like an arch of the lavender and lemons around it. Thought that was a really cute one too. So <clears throat> I've just recently jumped into the, you know, purchasing the rub on transfers. Um, I never can find, or very rarely can I find any of the, the good ones at Dollar Tree. I've found a couple and then a couple that I like, but haven't seen them since. I bought like one sheet of them and haven't seen them since in any of the Dollar Trees. And I've been to probably five or six Dollar Trees in surrounding areas. And every time I go into one, I looked for the rub-on transfers. So I finally bit the bullet and jumped on Amazon and started looking and I'm like, oh my God, I could spend a fortune on rub-on transfers. I am exercising self-control, <sighs> maybe. <laughs> so I've only actually purchased three, I think three sets off of Amazon. This was one of the sets. Um, I did a Highland cow set and I've got a farmhouse set that I bought. So um, I'm going to try to stay content with those for now until I get some of them used. I did put, you know, I put an okay dent in, in the lavender and lemon ones. Let's count how many times I say lavender and lemon in this video. <laughs> so I took a, a look where it looks like there's like some little lemons hanging down. And I also grab, cut out a, where it has like a, um, sprigs of lavender that are tied together. Like, um, and put that on there and then put a little purple butterfly. <laughs> so drop in the comments. Um, let me know which one of these DIYs is your favorite. I'm curious. Um, I'm not sure, honestly. I don't know if I can pick a favorite out of this one. I really don't. Don't know if I can. I guess I would have to say it would be the, the truck probably because, well, my dad and the old trucks. So I guess if I'm undecided and there's a truck involved, then it's gotta be the truck, right? Makes sense. Yeah, these, uh, <laughs> it was a challenge, uh, to get some of the, the carrier sheets off of these cause it is super, super sticky. But I did find that with, um, with these rub on transfers that I, 
I don't really have to scrape a whole lot or burnish it a whole lot. Um, they stick pretty well. Uh, I just have to really be careful around more of the finer detailed pieces. So, all right, so I took this um, wood plank. It's one of the, it's from the pack that you can get at Dollar Tree of the longer rectangular ones. And I had cut a bunch of them down um, at one point. And so that's what I've got here is one of the cut down pieces. So I'm right now I'm working on the bottom of it and do the um, antique wax. And now I'm gonna place the, my little house on there. Use a mixture of hot glue and wood glue. I wanted the hot glue for the permanent hold because, well, I was doing this at about midnight last night when I should have been in bed, but I was like, now I'm getting, at least getting the projects done so that I can uh, edit and voice over the video today. So I glued that on. <clears throat> I took two of these little wooden uh, flower pots from Dollar Tree. You can get those. Um, there's a pack of three. There's two bigger ones and one smaller one in, in each pack. I painted the bottom part of it with the lilac or li lilac mist lord um and then i painted the the rim of it with the bright yellow just got and then i took and the mixture of hot glue and wood glue. I set, uh, glued my pots on there up toward the front corners. My original vision was to put the pots on either side of the house, but there wasn't enough room on this, so I stuck them toward the front corners there. And then um, I took, and I don't think I even, yeah, I cut it out. Um, I took the Waverly Antique Wax and went around. I didn't do that side of it before I put all this on because I wanted to make sure that um, I got my stuff glued on there with the wig glue where it would make, you know, a good bond. So now I cut like six little sprigs of the lavender off and um, put a little bit of hot glue in the bottom of the pot. Which this, you know, I, I was a previous project. I found that this works really well, but it takes a little bit for the glue to set up. So you have to kind of sit there and hold your flowers where you want them until the glue starts to set a little bit. And then I just took some of the, um, the moss and put it down in there around the flowers. Did the same thing to the other side. But I think I edited it. Yeah, see? And there it is so far. I was like, mm, it's still missing something. Well, no, I hadn't gone to the, ooh, it's still missing something yet. I needed to cut down and put my the roof on because the house just looked naked without it i don't know what it is <clears throat> about the little houses and whatnot but i always feel like they have to have like a little roof thing on there i just use my miter shears after i'm after i finally found the spot that i want um wanted to cut it and got it marked and then i just used that one as a template to cut the other one so that I knew that they were the same length. And then just hot glued them on there. 
happened after this is when I was like, still kind of missing something. Still looks too plain. Got it there. So I almost used hot glue to do this and then I was like, meh. I want to be able to make sure I have good coverage and hot glue, you know, it comes out in like the, you know, you've got like strand, strings or whatever, um, lines of it. So I wanted something that I could spread out and have good coverage. And then I took some more of that moss and put it, um, put it on there. And now that I'm looking at the finished product project, I'm contemplating whether or not I need to go out and find a couple of little small flat stones to put on there as stepping stones going toward the door. I may do that. But I just took and um, used that wood glue where I could spread it out so that I could get good coverage with the, the moss on there. I think this, this is the reindeer moss. Um, because I wanted it to be more green where it looked like grass instead of the um, the brown that you get with the Spanish moss. And maybe I'm almost done. <laughs> this stuff is messy. It makes a mess. And there we go. So I hope you enjoyed it despite the fact that I left a ton of painting in there. So sorry y'all. Don't forget to check out uh, the playlist and the other creators and their videos and let them, if you uh, go to any of their channels and whatnot, let them know that you came over from my playlist um, or from my video and just, you know, give us a like, a comment. And if you know somebody else who might enjoy this, feel free to share. We so much we appreciate so much your support thanks for watching have a great day